Hey guys, this is Kendall with Black Ovis, and I am really excited to bring you a new video about the Sitka Intercept Pant. As we're this time of year that you start looking at the gear that you've used, uh, what you changed, what you didn't change, and this Sitka Intercept Pant came out this year, brand new pant, and I had a chance to use it in the field in multiple hunts, and I wanted to just break down some of the things I really, really liked about it, and really only one or two suggestions, and I got Steve here next to me, and he's got the the old the Sitka Apex pant, which I was madly in love with. So if you have worn the Apex pant, or you just simply want to know more about the inter the Intercept pant, then this video is certainly for you. So let me uh, let me start breaking down a few things. Number one comes in at 289 retail price. It's made and intended for a quiet stalking kind of scenario as like I'm a bow hunter, so this is really right up my alley. Same as with the Apex pants. Top, top to bottom, let me go over some of the features. Uh, inside, I really actually do like, this has a rubberized coating on this little guy. It looks like a, almost like a seam seal, but it's got just enough rubberized hit so that uh, it adds a nice little bit of grip. Um, without being, some of the other pants I've seen and worn have a real wide like rubber piece and I think it's a little bit overboard. Super soft against the skin. On the inside, one of the key features and the difference is, is this has the raised grid fleece look but this is actually a little different fabric than what was on the Apex. This is a poly a merino blend on these, these little micro lifts. So the cool thing about the, the inside of this is there's enough space in between the channels that this is not a super warm pant, but it's, so it's not the Ascent, but it's certainly not mountain pants. So this is really, in my opinion, that ideal pant that spans the late of August into, with a base layer, we're rocking this all the way into November. But for your late August or September uh, and early October elk and, and deer hunts or anything that you're, you're spot and stock, this pant is super ideal, but I do like this little hit right here. Um, on the outside, the fabric itself is pretty darn uh, quiet to the touch. I do think the Apex pant had a little bit more softness or a little quieter, but what I found similar to the Apex pant is that with multiple washes, this does soften up. It doesn't get quite as, let's say, distressed. The Apex pant did kind of fade or it lost a little bit of its like, like crispness as far as the fabric. And I don't know if that was one of the motivations for Sitka to change that fabric and to go with the new Intercept fabric, but I didn't mind it. I didn't mind that the, that the camel got a little bit more dull, but I've seen that the multiple washes on the, on the Intercept pant, it doesn't get as, um, as kind of faded. It's not pilling, but it's just simply a little bit of a fade. So it stays pretty crisp. Maybe that's good, maybe that's not. Uh, pocket configuration, they're still using the same exact, I mean, I'm, if I'm looking at the... Uh, the apex next to the, the intercept. The hand pocket is identical, other than they were in a single stitch versus a double stitch on the apex. The inside of it, you've got mesh on both sides, so it's very nice and ventilated that way. The cargo pocket, that's where you start to see some differences. The cargo pocket is a little bit smaller on the in intercept pant than on the apex. And still that great quiet uh, snap, deep pocket inside the pocket you've got some mesh and you also have a little pocket within the pocket. So like for me, dropping a cell phone or dropping an L call or dropping whatever you wanna drop in the pocket, rather than have that dip all the way down to the bottom of the pocket or rattle around, it's not, kind of like a nice keeper within the pocket. So that's pretty cool. Um, because of the vents, the, I, I'm sick of finally saw the light and added side vents. And uh, the one thing that's pretty rad is because of that vent, uh, they've shifted that pocket more towards the front. So if you look here on the, on the, uh, the apex, it's, it's truly a cargo side pocket. This pocket now on the intercept has moved forward and it's more of a frontal kind of pocket where the seam of the, of the, uh, the cargo pocket is really right in the middle of the thigh. So I do actually like that it's pressed forward. It's a little easier access and not so much of a reach, reach behind or reach to the side and fish something out of the pocket. From a vent standpoint, uh, it's a top, uh, top to bottom zip. Uh, preferably, if it was me designing this pant, I would go with a two-headed zipper simply because the few times I found when I had this open, I was sitting down or I was moving, uh, primarily coming from sit to top or, or on a stock, I was finding that, uh, that if I had to vent, which I did periodically, um, it really opens that up and I had some things that were kind of like getting inside or I got some, some sticks and, and dirt and other stuff like that. 
So my only suggestion to Sitka on this pant would be to, to do a double head. As you move down, one of the coolest pieces about this pant, um, they've reconfigured the, the knee pad and the knee pad is accessible from inside the side vent pocket. So unlike the Apex, Mountain and Timberline, where you have to go kind of bottom up and it has a, a, a little Velcro um, keeper on the bottom of that, this is a top down and this knee pad, it go on and on, but Sitka has a really cool video that talks about this. But this knee pad is a definitely a different knee pad. It comes out of the tactical world. It's not as thick as the foam as you're accustomed to, but it's very, very durable. And it also is the type of foam that displaces the impact. Um, I really did like it. I like the shape. Um, it's super, super easy and, and moldable. So it does move and bend a lot better with the knee than the, than the previous knee pad. So that's a pretty cool option. Uh, and then uh, the only other feature I did, I did want to point out um, on this pan, you've got eight belt loops. I think it's a little much, but man, there's nothing, nothing wrong with it per se. But just, I, I noticed that as I'm throwing a belt on, you're going through eight belt loops. But a Sitka intercept pant, uh, like I said before, at 289, I, I really think this is the, the, the best pant that Sitka's made. If you want that one and only that, uh, and you're a bow hunter, then, I mean, Ascent gets a little lighter and a little cooler, uh, a little, you know, for those, uh, those warm days. But I think the Intercept Pant is absolutely, should be on your, your list as a bow hunter or as an early season hunter. Um, and, and I don't think you can go wrong. Honestly, it's, it's, it's a little high priced. Yeah, but man, you really get what you get when you spend the money. If you, if you invest in this piece, I have no doubt that this, this piece is going to last you years and years and years. So, uh, if you have any questions about the, the Sitka Intercept Pant, you want more details, want to talk to someone like myself or any of our gear guides that, that have firsthand experience with this, give us a holler. Drop a comment below if you've had experience with this, uh, with this pant and have some, maybe something to share to the community. So appreciate you checking in. We'll see you on the next video.